costume tutorials every year. I'll leave all of the previous ones linked down below for you. But this year, which I don't think I've ever done before, uh, I decided to pick a movie that came out this year, one of my favorites, and do a costume based on that. And if you have not seen I, Tanya yet, it is on Netflix right now go check it out. Margot Robbie did an incredible performance and if you didn't know it is based on a true story. It was a great movie and I decided to recreate one of the skating competition outfits that she wore. I think it's going to be a really fun costume to put together. Let's hope I do it justice. Okay, so Halloween costumes aren't exactly all that cheap. I'm going to kind of break down for you what I'm making this for, and it works out to about $30 Canadian. So first off, I have a long-sleeved uh, turtleneck that I was able to pick up, and I'm going to make a bodysuit out of that. Now, if you saw one of my tutorials last year, Zoya the Destroyer uh, from the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, a TV show on Netflix, it's now got two seasons out. I actually constructed and built my own bodysuit from scratch and that was not an easy process. So this is going to be so much more simple and uh, it'll be a really easy way for you to turn really any shirt that you have into a bodysuit. As long as the torso is long enough, it's going to be simple. So this was all I could find. If I could find a t-shirt that had a turtleneck on it, I would have chose that because that is what her outfit is. But we are going to do it with a long sleeve and just trim off the sleeves. So that was about $10. I spent another $5 on this fabric here. Here, which is going to be for the skirt and I picked up um, the sequins for a couple of bucks and then this stuff oh this is the most expensive thing that you will ever buy and um, it's not even the right gold which makes me so frustrated but I needed it for the sleeves of the costume and uh, all together those items cost around $30. I might need a little more gold trim but I already have some things kicking around and some of that stuff you can pick up at the dollar store as well. So let's get into building the bodysuit first which like I said is going to be so much easier than last year. So really all we're going to do is uh, turn the bottom into kind of the same shape as a pair of underwear, like a bodysuit is shaped. So what you can do is grab another bodysuit that you already have, lay it out on top and measure that out, or you could even just grab, like I said, a pair of underwear or bathing suit bottoms and line them up along the bottom and just use the bottom hem of the shirt as the base. And you can trace that out, cut it out. Keep in mind, this has better butt coverage on the back, so these pieces can actually be cut in a little bit if you want to make it maybe a little bit more comfortable for you to wear. I'm just gonna eyeball it and see. Because this is a Halloween costume, you can see I do not care all that much. Oh God, I'm cutting the bottom piece, that's not good. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is hem this just a little bit, take it through my sewing machine. Make a zigzag stitch on this. So the way that I decided to keep this attached just because it is a costume is with the Velcro, but probably a good idea would be putting real snaps below. Okay, so once I kind of finish that, I'm going to be taking this white material that I grabbed from the fabric store and part of the reason why I chose it is so that hopefully uh, I don't really have to hem any of the edges. It doesn't seem to have too much of a fray here, but I'm going to use this piece to create her pleats kind of on the bottom of the dress. So I'm going to make a template here so they're all the same. So there you can see it a little bit better. Each of the pleats that I'm going to use, uh, cut are going to use this template. This is two inches. It's nine inches to the tip, just one inch up here to angle those two sides in. So this is an eight inch strip. So cut this out and use it as my template. I'm 
just gonna keep cutting up a bunch of those. So next, measure the center point of your outfit from the top of your leg holes, and then you're going to mark two inches up from above that and connect those two dots. This is just a gradual guideline for when you're putting your pleats in place. So here is my pleats just kind of laying out. I did do a couple of layers of these. It's quite a cheeky outfit, so the more pleats, the more coverage you're going to have. But here's where I made my major mistake. You should never hot glue stretchy fabric. This instantly makes it not stretchy and I should know better than this but I didn't and I have no idea I barely fit into this costume once I was done because I couldn't even get this portion over my boobs but you know what I stretched it and made it work so uh, what you should be doing is stitching it into place with a zigzag stitch do not hot glue it but once you've put all your pleats on the front and the back you can cut off any excess and then you can put on the gold trim to kind of finish that edge so it doesn't look messy Again, don't hot glue it. You should definitely sew that into, into place if you want a more comfortable costume. Okay, next is just cutting off these arms. So we have uh, short sleeves. I just marked it on my arm from when I was wearing it. Use the sleeve on the opposite side to just measure out so you have two identical short sleeves. And because I learned my lesson, I am now stitching in the rest of my gold embellishment with a very loose stitch and making sure that I kind of stretched it out along the way so that I didn't have any problems when I put this outfit on again. And again, because I learned from my lesson, I put a small little piece of cardboard in here before I decided to hot glue the fringe onto the sleeves of this shirt. Uh, this was fine to do and it gave a little extra give and I had no problem putting it on. Now for the last bit, I used some gold paint uh, mixed with some glitter paint and also some fabric medium to make it a fabric paint. And I just kind of freehanded the rest of the designs on her outfit from a photo I saw online. Uh, this is a really easy way to do the gold embellishment. If you don't want to stitch on the sequence like I did, you can paint it all on. So to finish out your outfit, I think the bangs are very key. I do not have bangs. I'm just faking it, pulling my hair up above. Um, she smokes and she drinks and she's a figure skater so those are some props that you can carry along with you like a pair of skates if you had some So that's my first costume tutorial of the year. I will be back next Wednesday with another one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But if you're looking for other ideas for Halloween, I've got them all linked down below. I've done plenty of costume tutorials in the past. I love this costume. I'm so pumped about it. And uh, I love that you can kind of be crude, just like she was in the movie, if you want to when you're going out for Halloween. Cheers, and I'll talk to you next week.